When you think of China, what comes to mind? Towering skyscrapers, bustling cities, maybe the Great Wall stretching across mountains? But for decades, another image dominated. Swirling sandstorms blotting out the sun, swallowing fields, and blanketing Beijing in yellow dust. It was a country battling a relentless natural enemy. Desertification. Now, fast forward just 20 years. Today, China's green areas have expanded so dramatically that they cover an area equivalent to a quarter of the Amazon rainforest. That's right, the same deserts that once seemed unstoppable now support thriving vegetation and new life. It's a transformation that seems almost impossible, like turning a desert into a forest overnight. The secret behind this astonishing change? A fleet of intelligent, cutting-edge machines nicknamed the sand-swallowing giant beasts. These aren't your ordinary tractors or plows. They're advanced robots, equipped with AI systems capable of planting, watering, and stabilizing the soil, all while battling one of the harshest environments on Earth. In this video, we're going to uncover how these incredible machines reshaped China's deserts, turning sand into greenery faster than anyone could have imagined. To understand just how impressive China's greening achievement is, we need to look at the scale of the problem. By the turn of the 21st century, desertification had become a massive threat. Nearly 2.6 million square kilometers of China's land was degraded, almost a third of the country. That's an area larger than the size of Texas and California combined. This wasn't just an environmental issue. It affected people's daily lives. Cities like Beijing were hit by sandstorms twice a month on average, making the air unhealthy and daily life difficult. Crops failed. Farmlands became useless, and entire communities faced the risk of losing their homes. The desert didn't just creep slowly. It acted like an invisible giant beast, steadily devouring China's precious land resources. For decades, this creeping desert created a constant tension. How do you protect people, agriculture, and the environment when nature itself seems unstoppable? The stakes were enormous, and China needed a solution that went beyond small-scale measures. This is where the story of innovation begins. The moment humans decided to fight back against the desert, not just with hope, but with technology. Before robots and AI entered the picture, China's fight against desertification relied heavily on traditional, labor-intensive methods. One of the most well-known techniques was the straw-weaving sand fixation method. In simple terms, workers would take drought-resistant plants, like wheat straw or rice straw, and carefully lay them in the desert to create small squares. These squares acted like tiny sand anchors, slowing down the wind, trapping loose sand, and giving the soil a chance to hold water. While effective, this method had a huge drawback. It was extremely slow and exhausting. Turning even a small portion of the desert into a stable, plant-friendly area could take years, and covering the entire Tengger Desert using this method alone would have taken around 100 years. Imagine hundreds of workers, day after day, planting straw squares under scorching heat, with sandstorms constantly undoing their work. The story here is clear. The traditional methods worked, but they weren't enough. China needed a solution that could match the scale of the desert. Something faster, smarter, and capable of doing in days what once took decades. And that's where innovation stepped in. Setting the stage for one of the most remarkable technological achievements in desert management. Faced with a desert that seemed unstoppable and traditional methods that were far too slow, China turned to innovation. The government and scientists asked a bold question. What if we could fight the desert not just with manpower, but with intelligence and machines? The answer came in the form of a revolutionary breakthrough, a fleet of intelligent sand control robots. In February 2024, Chinese engineers unveiled the Jumong 301 sand swallowing giant beast. This was no ordinary machine. It combined artificial intelligence, automation, and powerful mechanical systems specifically designed to thrive in harsh desert environments. Its mission? To turn desert sand into fertile, stable land faster and more efficiently than humans ever could. The goal was clear. Instead of decades of slow, manual labor, these machines could plant, water, and stabilize entire stretches of desert in just days. The Jumong 301 wasn't just about speed. It represented a new way of thinking about environmental restoration. A fusion of technology, ecology, and engineering working together to reshape the land itself. So what makes the Jumong 301 so extraordinary? At first glance, it might look like a massive armored vehicle crawling through the sand. 
but inside, it's a high-tech ecosystem designed to battle the desert on every front. First, it can automatically plant grass squares using rice straw. The robot presses the straw deep into the sand, creating stable patches that block wind and trap moisture. Think of it like sewing a quilt over the desert, each patch carefully stitched into place to stop the sand from moving. At the same time, it sprays sand fixation agents, chemicals that further stabilize the soil, ensuring the plants have a firm foundation to grow. But the innovation doesn't stop there. The Jumong 301 is equipped with real-time soil sensors and AI systems. It can analyze soil conditions on the spot and adjust its operations, planting deeper where water is scarce or spraying more fixation agents where sand is loose. In other words, it doesn't just follow a preset pattern, it adapts intelligently to the environment, making every movement efficient and precise. This combination of mechanical power and smart decision-making is what allows the Jumong 301 to tackle deserts in a way humans never could. The true power of the Jumong 301 isn't just in its technology, it's in the sheer speed and scale at which it works. One of these machines can plant 260 acres of grass squares in a single day. To put that in perspective, that's more than 50 times faster than what a team of workers could achieve manually. Imagine trying to plant a football field's worth of greenery every few minutes. That's the level of efficiency we're talking about. Take the planting of salix trees as an example. On one acre, the robot can plant 159 trees in just 20 minutes. It doesn't stop at trees either. It can handle seedling cuttings, lay sand barriers, and spray sand fixation agents all at once. This multitasking ability turns what used to take weeks or months into mere hours, fundamentally changing the way desert greening projects are carried out. By achieving this level of efficiency, China solved a problem that had long seemed impossible, transforming vast, barren deserts into fertile, stable land within a fraction of the time traditional methods required. And this rapid progress sets the stage for large-scale demonstrations proving that mechanized desert control isn't just theory, it's reality. To show just how effective this technology is, China launched a large-scale demonstration in the Kubuki Desert in Inner Mongolia. Over 130 machines were deployed, including Jumong 301 robots, automatic seedling planters, transport vehicles, and sand barrier-laying machines. This was not just a display. It was a full-scale test of mechanized desert control at an unprecedented level. The machines worked together like a well-coordinated team. While the Humong 301 laid grass squares, other machines planted seedlings, transported materials, and built sand barriers. Real-time monitoring using big data platforms allowed operators to adjust operations based on soil conditions, wind patterns, and plant growth. In essence, the desert was being managed like a dynamic ecosystem guided by data and precise engineering. The result was awe-inspiring. In a single day, the coordinated operation of these machines completed tasks that would have taken hundreds of workers months to accomplish. This demonstration proved that large-scale desert greening is not only possible, but also scalable and efficient, paving the way for transforming deserts across China and potentially the world. The true proof of the Yumang 301's power came in the Tengger Desert, one of China's most challenging desert regions. In an 8,000-acre demonstration area, these machines turned barren sand into patches of green at a speed previously unimaginable. Over 10% of the land was successfully transformed into oases, creating pockets of vegetation where nothing had grown for decades. Local residents were amazed. In the past, planting just a few acres required teams of workers struggling under harsh sun and loose sand. Survival rates for plants were low, and progress was painfully slow. Now, with mechanized operations, green squares are planted quickly and evenly, and seedlings access deeper water thanks to intelligent soil adjustments. Plants not only survive but thrive, turning once empty landscapes into growing ecosystems. This transformation is more than just visual. It changes lives. Crops can be protected, air quality improves, and sandstorms that once threatened cities like Beijing are gradually mitigated. What used to be a centuries-long battle against desertification is now an achievable project measured in months, not decades, setting a new benchmark for desert management worldwide. The Jumong 301 isn't just a planter, it's a multifunctional desert warrior. While planting vegetation is its headline feature, the robot simultaneously tackles sand prevention, soil improvement, and barrier creation, all in one operation. Think of it as, you know, 
a Swiss Army knife for desert control performing multiple critical tasks without stopping. For example, while planting grass squares, it can lay flat sand nets and vertical seedling sand barriers. These structures prevent wind erosion, stabilize the soil, and protect young plants from being buried by shifting sand. The robot's ability to adapt operations based on real-time soil data ensures each planted area has the best possible chance to survive and thrive. This synergy of functions transforms the desert into a stable, growing environment. Plants flourish, soil retains moisture, and sandstorms lose power. By combining planting, protection, and soil management into a single, intelligent system, the Jumong 301 doesn't just fight desertification, it fundamentally changes the desert ecosystem, turning barren wastelands into thriving green landscapes. China's achievement with the Jumong 301 has not gone unnoticed internationally. When news of the sand-swallowing giant beasts reached the United States, engineers and environmental scientists were both amazed and, honestly, a bit skeptical. The United States faces its own desertification crisis, especially in the southwestern states like New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona, where nearly 30% of the land is affected by degraded soil and extreme drought. Historically, the country has invested heavily in combating desertification through drought-resistant crops, sand barriers, and drip irrigation, but the scale and pace of these efforts have always been, well, kind of limited. Seeing China achieve in weeks what would take decades in the United States sparked serious interest and a rethinking of desert management strategies. The potential applications for Jumong 301-style technology in the United States are enormous. American engineers see a chance to shift from manpower-heavy and slow mechanical operations to intelligent, automated desert control. Instead of relying on thousands of workers planting by hand or small tractors covering limited areas, Intelligent robots could monitor soil conditions, plant vegetation, and stabilize sand across hundreds of acres in a single day. This could significantly reduce the frequency and severity of sandstorms, protect farmland, and even restore ecosystems in regions that have suffered decades of land degradation. Beyond the United States, the global implications are equally exciting. Countries across Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia are battling expanding deserts and land degradation with millions of people at risk due to shrinking farmland and worsening climate conditions. China's approach offers a scalable model combining AI, mechanization, and ecological restoration in a way that can be adapted to different environments and climates. By demonstrating that intelligent, automated solutions can rapidly reverse desertification, China is setting a new standard for international cooperation in environmental management. Ultimately, the Jumong 301 story is more than just a national achievement. It's a global inspiration. It shows that with innovation, determination, and advanced technology, humanity can tackle some of the planet's most stubborn environmental challenges. The desert is no longer an insurmountable obstacle. It has become a testing ground for cutting-edge solutions that could be applied wherever dry lands threaten people, agriculture, and ecosystems. What makes the Jumong 301 truly remarkable is how it blends technology with ecological science. This isn't just about planting grass or trees, it's about creating a sustainable system that restores ecosystems, stabilizes soil, and supports long-term plant growth. By using AI to monitor soil moisture, density, and nutrient levels, the robot ensures that every seedling has the best chance to survive, even in the harshest desert conditions. The sustainability aspect goes beyond efficiency. Traditional desert control often relied on short-term solutions that didn't address the ecosystem as a whole. The Jumong 301, on the other hand, improves soil structure, prevents erosion, and helps native plants take root. Over time, these interventions transform barren land into a thriving environment where wildlife and vegetation can flourish. It's a technological solution that respects and works in harmony with nature. Long-term, this innovation has the potential to reshape how humans interact with extreme environments. By proving that deserts can be stabilized and transformed without massive human labor or harmful chemical interventions, China is paving the way for a future where ecological restoration can be rapid, precise, and sustainable. The combination of AI, mechanical engineering, and ecological planning demonstrates a new paradigm one where machines don't just extract resources but actively heal the land. 
In essence, the Jumong 301 shows that innovation and sustainability are not mutually exclusive. Advanced technology can be a tool for restoring balance to the environment, demonstrating that science can solve some of the planet's most pressing ecological challenges. This approach could serve as a blueprint for desert restoration projects worldwide, proving that intelligent design and careful ecological planning can work hand in hand. Desertification isn't just a Chinese problem, it's a global crisis. From the Sahel region in Africa to parts of Australia, the Middle East and Central Asia, millions of people face shrinking farmland, food insecurity, and worsening climate conditions caused by expanding deserts. Traditional methods, planting vegetation manually, building barriers, or using irrigation systems, are often too slow or expensive to keep up with the speed at which land is degrading. China's approach, exemplified by the Yumong 301, offers a new model for combating this challenge. Mechanized intelligent solutions demonstrate that even harsh, arid landscapes can be restored efficiently. By combining automation, AI monitoring, and ecological science, it's possible to reverse desertification at a scale previously thought impossible. Countries struggling with similar challenges could adopt or adapt this technology, reducing the global footprint of degraded land. What makes this innovation even more inspiring is that it sets a global standard for desert management. Instead of relying solely on manual labor or small-scale projects, nations can now consider a data-driven, mechanized approach that adapts to local conditions. This could significantly reduce sandstorms, protect ecosystems, and even expand arable land, improving livelihoods for millions of people around the world. Ultimately, China's work shows that desertification can be tackled systematically and intelligently. It proves that with the right technology, commitment, and scientific planning, what once seemed like an unstoppable environmental threat can become an opportunity for restoration and growth, inspiring a new era of global cooperation in ecological preservation. China's journey from sandstorms to green deserts is nothing short of extraordinary. In just two decades, the combination of innovation, intelligence, and determination has transformed barren wastelands into thriving landscapes. The Jumong 301 sand-swallowing giant beast shows that with advanced technology, even the harshest environments can be reshaped, ecosystems restored, and communities protected. This story isn't just about machines or engineering, it's about possibility. It's a reminder that human creativity and perseverance, when paired with science, can overcome problems once considered insurmountable. From deserts in Inner Mongolia to dry lands across the globe, the potential to restore land, improve livelihoods, and combat climate challenges has never been greater. If you've been inspired by this incredible journey, there's more to come. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future breakthroughs in environmental technology, global innovation, and ecological restoration. Together, we can follow the trail of solutions that are shaping a greener, smarter planet. And remember, the desert isn't forever. With the right ideas and determination, even the most barren lands can bloom again.